Blessed be 
the Holy Trinity, one God, the fountain of living water, the rock who gave us birth, our light and our salvation. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and Thank you. 
Friend, hope for the guest while you are alive. Jump into the experience while you are alive. Think and think while you are alive. What you call salvation belongs to the time before death. If you don't break your bonds while you are alive, do you think ghosts will do it after? The idea that the soul will rejoin with the ecstatic just because the body is rotten, that is fantasy. What is found now is found then. If you find nothing now, you will simply end up in an apartment in the city of death. If you make love with the divine now, in the next life you will have the face of satisfied desire. So plunge into the truth Find out who the teacher is. Believe in the great sound.
Divine Spirit, Risen One, Ever-Living One. In you we live and we move and we have our being. Our very breath is your spirit. this day for life in the midst of death. We give you thanks this day for joy in the midst of sorrow. We give you thanks this day for light in the midst of darkness. And we give you thanks this day for compassion in the midst of suffering. suffer today. The lonely, the heartbroken, the downtrodden, may the joy of eternal life shine its light in the midst of this day, O oh God, that your love is not dependent on our belief or our lack of belief, on our doubts, on our confusion, our misunderstanding, or just plain neglect. We give you thanks that your love is sustains us and gives life. So help us to wake up.
And you'll recall that this is the same day. This is Resurrection Day. This is Sunday. This is the evening after the morning when Mary Magdalene went to the tomb, reported it empty to the others who ran and looked and saw that the tomb was empty. And then John says curiously this sentence, they believed, but they didn't understand. This is evening of that same day. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of their enemies, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples rejoiced when they saw him. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, he was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Baloney. Well, actually, that's not really right. He says, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, the disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. And although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, as before, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. And Thomas exclaimed, My Lord, my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in him. The Gospel of the Lord. So that you, believing, might have life in him, life in him, with him.
century, grew up in India, but and he grew up Muslim. But in his day, the officials of the Islamic world and the officials of the Hindu world rejected him as unorthodox. After his death, however, both Islam and Hinduism claimed him as their own. Funny how that works. It's funny what we see and how we see it. This story, the way John tells it, this story of the resurrection is so profound. This is what is sometimes called an unbeliever. 
Christians think that's the worst thing a person can be is an unbeliever. And yet, a week later, again in that same room gathered, this time Thomas is there and Christ appears again in the locked room and says again, peace be with you. Thomas to come. Now look, the love of Christ is all inclusive. The love of Christ is not parsed out to some and not to others based on whether they believe or whether they misbelieve or misunderstand, or fail to recognize.
Father and your Father, to my God and your God, to those who are confused, misunderstood, and failed to believe. No, God is God. Life is life. And there is one race, the human one.
Let's pray for our world, the world that God so loves, that God gave His only begotten Son. Let us pray for our world, for all in it, and for our place in it. Gracious God, we do pray for the, for the earth, the whole world, and we pray for all beings in it. Bring us together, O oh God, in peace. For your spirit says, peace be with you. To those who are broken, to those who are confused, to those who are plain wrong, your peace extends to them. Into your hands, O gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We feel that peace more than see it. But blessed are we who believe and have not seen it. So we share peace with one another and indeed with the whole world. At this time, instead of taking an offering, I just want to say um, I just want to say thank you. Uh, actually, it was very moving, um, the kind of outpouring that came <clears throat> in the last week and even two weeks um, as we, you know, worry about uh, being able to maintain. So thank you so much. Many generous offerings came. And uh, it's extremely helpful, so I want to thank you all for that, on behalf of all of us. Let us...
us uh, remember together the prayer that Jesus taught. I guess the, uh, the main one being that we will have a council meeting uh, this coming Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Those meetings are always open to everyone, whether you're on the council or not. So we'll be using the same meeting number uh, as, as you're using now. Uh, so 6 o'clock, and I'll host that meeting, and we'll do it by Zoom Zoom. Are there any other announcements? Charlie, you want to unmute everybody and just see if there's any announcements? Any announcements out there? Yes, Sue?
serve our God. We love. Thank you, God. All right. All right, I'll mute everybody, Charlie. All right. It's coffee hour, folks. Where's your coffee? Hey, good to see you all. <laughs> it was prepared, well prepared. Yeah. It's our Lutheran sacrament. All right, I forgot one really important announcement, to everybody. Could you uh, could you mute everybody briefly, Charlie? I'm sorry. I need to mute you all. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this back, but I forgot an important announcement. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. I have one very important announcement that I forgot to, to give. Okay, um, and it's this that uh, uh, I have I was able to go and visit uh, Artie before she died uh, this weekend and bring her Holy Communion. Um, and that was very, uh, well, it, it, was, it was fortunate in this way that she had been, she had been able to go home from the, from the care facility where she was and be on hospice at home. And so I was able to go visit her and bring her communion. Um, so I just want to say that if anyone, if any one of you would like the Holy Communion, um, I'd be happy to arrange with you to do that and I, I can... I can actually deliver it to you. Um, and uh, some of you probably are in facilities I can't get into. Um, but re regardless, um, <laughs> Walt, thank you for uh, purchasing about 200 communion cups with lids. <clears throat> and so what we can do is I can bring Holy Communion to you, a wafer and, uh, and, and a little bit of wine or grape juice, and I can leave it at your doorstep and we can pray at a six foot distance from each other and you can commune. So we can certainly do that. And of course, in um, an emergency situation, uh, um, I'll, like with Artie, um, I'll be terribly reckless and come right in, uh, right in. So uh, just wanted to say that, that we can share communion during this time. So if you would like it, please just contact me, email me or phone me and I'd be glad to do that for you, okay? Uh, okay. Back to, back to uh, the coffee hour. It is, oh, it's because I'm on mute. I'm mute. Okay, you're on muted. Hey. And Will, you're feeling good? Yes, very good. William, and Emma's feeling good? Some of you, I think some of you know that uh, William and his daughter Emma um, were pretty sure did have COVID-19 and um, uh, seemed to, I mean, they had, their symptoms were relatively mild, thank God, but they self-quarantined for weeks and now both are feeling much better. Is that fair to say, William? Yes. Okay. So our prayers have been with you.